Hey, welcome back to Beard Squared. In this video, we're going to have an introduction to Pythagoras' theorem coming up. So when do you ever use Pythagoras' theorem? Well, right angles, 90 degree angles, are used when constructing buildings and dividing areas into rectangular regions. Now that's only one example of using right angles. The ancient Egyptians used a rope with 12 equally spaced knots to form a triangle with sides in the ratio of 3 to 4 to 5. And what they'd done is they pulled it taut at one corner to form a right angle triangle. Now unlike the ancient Egyptians who built the pyramids of Giza, we can use Pythagoras' theorem and right angle triangles to construct everyday items such as this picket fence. So a right angled triangle is a triangle which has a right angle as one of its angles. The side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. So here's my right angle and opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. This is the longest side of the triangle. The other two sides are called legs. So I've labelled this leg A and leg B. So here's an example of a triangle. Try to guess where the hypotenuse is. Yep, it's opposite the right angle, so this is the longest side of the triangle, and it's called the hypotenuse. Here's another one. See if you can figure out where the hypotenuse is. If you guessed it was here, then you're absolutely correct, because it's opposite the right angle. Okay, so let's remove that and summarize. In a right angle triangle with hypotenuse C and legs A and B, we can have the formula C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So I'm going to explain this formula in more detail. So what this formula is saying is that the square of A plus the square of B must equal to the square of C. And if we label these A, B and C, you can notice that my hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle. So if this is A and this is B, so the square of A, 3 times 3, which equals to 9, and the square of B, 4 by 4, which is equal to 16, must add up to give me the square of C. Now that's a 5 by 5 square. I'm just going to rotate it so you can actually see that it's 5 units across and 5 units down. So that would give me 5 times 5, which is equal to 25. But you notice that that's also the same as 9 plus 16, because 9 plus 16 gives me 25. So this formula then says that the square of A plus the square of B adds up to give me the square of C. So we can summarize by saying the area of the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the area of the two other sides. So let's do an example. Find the missing length in the following triangle with side lengths 3 meters and 6 meters. Now we should know that the side that we're looking for is the longest side of the triangle because it's opposite the right angle. So we refer to that as the hypotenuse. So we can label the diagram accordingly. So C is going to be our hypotenuse and A and B are going to be the two other sides. Now we can set up our equation by saying C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So if we substitute our values c squared, because we don't know what c is, is equal to 3 squared plus 6 squared. Remember the side a is 3 and side b is 6. We don't know what c is. So we can simplify that. c squared is equal to 9 plus 36. And then c squared is equal to 45. So before we solve this, it's very important that we know that if x squared is equal to k, then x would be equal to the square root of k. But whenever we have a square root, we have two solutions, a positive and a negative. However, in real life applications, we will reject the negative square root as the length must be positive. So this value of c has to be positive anyway, and hence we would not need the negative square root. So therefore, c is equal to the square root of 45, since c is positive and greater than 0. 
Therefore, the hypotenuse is about 6.7 meters, which is the square root of 45. Let's move on to our final example. It says, find the missing length in the following triangle. So we have 5 meters by 6 meters by x meters. So step one, we need to find out where the hypotenuse is. And that should be opposite our right angle. So that's our hypotenuse. We're going to label that C, which means the other two lengths are going to be A and B. Now, since we have a variable for our unknown, which is X, we'll use that in our equation. So we'll set up the equation, X squared plus five squared is equal to six squared. So what that means then is that the square of X plus the square of five will give us the square of the hypotenuse, which is six. So then we can have x squared plus 25 is equal to 36. If we rearrange this and minus 25 from both sides, x squared is equal to 11. And so therefore, x is equal to the square root of 11. Now remember, x would be greater than zero because it's a positive value. So we only take the positive square root of the number. Therefore, the missing leg has a length of about 3.32 meters. So in quick summary, in a right angled triangle with hypotenuse C and legs A and B, we can write the formula C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. In the next video, Pythagoras part two, I'm gonna be solving real life problems using this formula. As always, thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, then drop me a like. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one.